the, the fire's nice. But I, I really think uh, Tornado's probably better. Okay. Back up over here. Grab this, run up here. Slice and dice you. You're almost done. Grab you. This. I think we. Yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? It's Louis here, back with another Nordic Hatches run. We're going to jump right on into this and this new character that we unlocked a couple episodes ago. Boon. And, yeah, we'll see. We're going to try Phantom Claws and see how it goes on Midgard. It's been a while, but we're back. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh, so Phantom Claws is... Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Very interesting. It's like, um... The sword on Axeldor. Oh, she floats so she doesn't take damage over top of that. That is freaking huge, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what if, she, like, they float over top of the monsters too? That'd be kind of crazy. Oh. Oh. We only have one heart. I did not know that. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a learning curve. That I did not know. Okay, well, let's try this again. That I didn't know. I did not know that we started with only one heart. Okay. Um. Interesting. Um, let's go this way. Let's grab this. Uh, we'll come down over here. Um, keep going, grab you. Ooh, oh, that was a close one. Uh, then we'll come up here. Yeah, I did not know that was the case. Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit. Alright, cool, what do we got going on here? So we got Phantom Claws here. This is unlocked, so it's either Phantom Claws or the Screeching Flute. Okay, um, let's get this an area I feel like could be pretty good. Get you going, get you going. Ooh, projectiles. Okay, screw it, I'll take you. Um, let's ascend. When killing an enemy with this weapon, you have a 10% chance of adding 0.5 damage permanent to it. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, and then we'll juice up cooldown. What are you? Instead of healing, potions grant permanent random stats. Holy smokes, that is freaking insane too. That's actually crazy. Um. Okay. Yeah, Un is going to be a very challenging character, I feel like. Since you can't, um, you can't get hit, like, at all. So, it's definitely going to make it a little little challenging going forward, but we'll see what we got going on here. We're doing okay so far. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, got this. Doing okay so far. Um, I'm going to go cool down on that. Okay. Perfect. The spawning in of stuff is gonna be a little little scary. Just due to um only having one heart. Uh that's kinda huge though. Take this. I really want damage and projectiles on this. There we go. Um, I'm gonna max this out real quick. What is this? When reviving, all enemies receive... Adds a revive. Okay. When reviving, there's a 50%... 
probability of recovering that revive chance. This percentage is reduced by half each time it is activated as a revive. Ghostly fire creates a special fire below your enemies. There's a 15% chance of duplicating the stats you get from chests, runes, or your constellation. That's kind of huge. Every you have chance of apply fear or bleeding to nearby enemies. And then tornado staff summons ice tornadoes that head towards enemies. After dying, enemies have a 5% chance of releasing their soul. You will absorb up to a maximum of 50 souls when activating your ultimate ability. Collected souls will be shot in all directions. Wow. Okay. So, let's grab this, I guess. And we'll go this. Oh, you can only choose one or the other. I think I'm going to go this one. But let's grab this. And keep it going. Okay. Cooldown looks okay on the claw. No! Damn it. Yeah, this is going to make things challenging. You basically need to, like, scale uncontrollably. Okay. I honestly don't know how we're supposed to win this with only one heart. Like, I honestly have no idea. That's not ideal. I thought my skill points said 41 for a second. I was like, what the heck? It only it only has four though. Okay. Um let's go up to this free one, see if we got anything good here. This could help. Wave clear a little bit. More coins. I think the big thing is really trying to get... Um, I'm going to grab this one. I think we need to grab this. Duplicating your stats from chests. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, I don't have enough. Crap. Alright. Well then, let's keep going with this guy. Oh, it doesn't spawn it underneath all of them. I thought it did for some reason. Or it would've. Okay. I mean, we have the one revive back, but we literally only have one revive. So we can only die once. Let's grab this guy as well. Just you up. Okay, so the ice tornadoes don't look too bad. I'm assuming if we can get more like projectiles on it, of course they'd be uh, like super good. But I'm wondering if like we should try and go those to really try and like boost up our like wave clear to not die. I guess I'll grab this. Or I'll try it at least. We'll see. Okay. Okay. I mean, it doesn't feel that great to be honest. This character is definitely uh, like a hard mode character, it feels like. Like, holy smokes. Mind you, we are playing expert, so like, makes sense, but like, jeez, dude. This character does not feel very easy. I want to test walking over that poison path, but I also don't want to cross over that poison path. And die. <laughs> 
Uh, 5% probability. That's not terrible. Because to burn, like, that'll be, that'll be kind of useful. 5% duration. I mean, that could be useful for, um, the fire and the tornadoes. The tornadoes for sure. Okay. I'm not too worried. I do want more potions though to get more uh, more skills to up our chances of beating the boss. Once again, I don't know if we're gonna end up beating the first boss. We'll we'll see. We will see. Okay. We will see. We're doing okay at the moment, but that can change very quickly. Very, very quickly. Um, let's reroll. Let's reroll. I'll take this. Let's reroll. I guess I'll take that. This one needs to be projectiles of damage. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna go more into. You know what? Let's just go into damage. And then wasting spins. Okay. I mean, we're wiping this guy out pretty quick. It's just huge. Okay, he's dead. Okay, sweet. We'll see where this takes us. I honestly don't know where this is going to take us, but we will see. So I'll grab you. Grab this. Grab this. Ooh, this is new. Frozen enemies have a 25% chance of throwing one ice ball. Sure. Uh, area, spec prob, I'll roll. Um, I'm curious. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good to know. So all heart stuff is literally pointless. Okay, I'll grab this. Grab this. I'll grab both of these. Roll. Oh, I'll take you. Pick you, 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 and you. Okay, so that's not a bad spot to be in. Um, I'll grab this. Um, I'm gonna roll this to try and get damage projectile. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'll grab you. I'll grab you. Um, let's see. When killing an enemy with this weapon, you have a 5% chance of adding one duration permanent to it. One project. Okay, I'm taking that. That just sounds super good. All right, cool. Sweet, let's go and uh, try and do this thing. If I can get another revive, I'll definitely take it because like we're gonna need it. Whoa. That must be the uh, one thing they were talking about. Okay. 350 souls for this. So the fire is spawning outside the range, which is counting the, the souls, which is huge. Um, hmm. I mean, totally gonna come over here and grab this. Like, we're not in a terrible spot now. I think it definitely comes down to like wave clear and stuff. Like you definitely need wave clear to like help yourself out or else you're gonna run into problems real quick. Cause you you cannot get hit, like you 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 physically cannot get hit, rocking one heart man. So definitely makes it uh, a little challenging. Okay. Oh yeah, that movement speed feels super good. I just gotta be careful that I don't uh, forget to pay attention and end up walking into monsters. Okay. This guy, what do we got here? I'll go projectiles. Why not? Also, the more health pots that we get, it'll be huge. Okay. I feel like attack speed 
second cooldown would be very good. Okay. Let's burn damage, I'll take that. More burn damage, I'll take that as well. Okay. Only five experience points. Hopefully that will boost our damage up quite a bit. I wonder if the other one will be the other ascension for the hands will be um both sides, kind of like uh the sword. Where, where when you're slicing the sword, you get the other one that also slices it behind you. I wonder if that'll be the next ascension for it. We may find out in the next episode. I don't know. I don't know how many runs of Un we're going to do. It all depends on if we can catch a win this this one or not. We might have to just do the runs, die, and just try and level up his uh, like mastery tree. That might be our best bet in uh, having a successful run with him, but we'll see. Or her. I think it's a him. It looks like a him, but... Who knows? Um, more burn damage, I'll take. The Phantom Claws one is kind of huge. Because it just adds more damage to the Phantom Claws, which is kind of massive. We cannot get hit! We cannot get hit! Holy smokes, dude! That threw me off! 10% damage there. That's a huge one. Oh, we cannot get hit by the bat. No, 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 no. Um, let's go duration. Okay. All right. Area, dude, that can make the tornadoes huge for the area increase. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Critical. Let's do another projectile. Some more fire. I think tornadoes, though, are definitely better. I mean, the, the fire's nice. But I, I really think... Uh, tornado's probably better. Okay. Back up over here. Grab this. Run up here. Slice and dice you. You're almost done. Grab you. This. I think with Un, your stats can, like, scale out of control. Like, I really think they can. Um, let's go experience. Okay. <laughs> We're looking okay right now, but then again, it's like we have one heart. We can get, get hit whenever, and, and we're done. One hit and we're we're done. Luckily, we do have the revive. I, I want to try and search for another revive in the shop if it comes up. We do have 23 points that we can spend. Okay. The damage is getting up there with the claw. We're one-shotting just about everything now. With the claw. Okay. Yeah, we're looking really good. Okay. This... Oh my god, I thought I just died. Holy crap. You gotta just be careful with this guy. Oh, he's not the one that spawns the, uh... Okay, we're actually okay with this guy. I thought he was the one that spawns the, um... The ice stuff that crushed us before, but it, it, he's not. So we're, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. I'll grab you, I'll grab you. What is this? When dying, burn enemies have a 25% chance of exploding. Yes, I'll take you. Take shoots arrows. I'll take you, I'll take you. 
Um, I'll roll. Take you, I'll take you. I'll take an additional dash. Why not? I don't know why I just re-rolled. That's why I re-rolled. Boom, boom, boom. I'll take you. Grab you. Poison and burn damage? I'll exchange some points. I'll grab you. I'll grab you. And that's that's good. Um, let's max this out. Let's try and level this up. I want more projectiles. Damage, I, like damage, can be whatever on this. I definitely want more projectiles, though. Um. <clears throat> That one we can go... Oh, let's grab... Okay, we can't grab that. Okay, let's go... <laughs> let's go do this thing, I guess. See what we got going on. Okay, that looks way better with all the tornadoes. I definitely want to get enough, though, to try and... Um, oh, God. This guy is a little scary. Can we kill him quickly? No! Oh, we just wasted that death. Okay, come on. Come on. We might end up dying here, which will really freaking suck. Him constantly healing, though, is really a big uh, shaft on us. That really screws us a lot. Okay. Okay, he's almost dead. Uh, I'm going to another projectile on the Tornado Man. Hey, we killed him. Holy smokes, dude. If we were to die again to him, I would have been super disappointed. These things are dangerous. Very dangerous. Because it takes people from all the islands that can summon. Doesn't matter what it is. So it makes it very dangerous for us. Oh my god, golden mushroom, that is freaking huge. That might help us out a ton. Problem is, we can't die. So, like, we need... We need another revive. That's what we're going for, is another revive. That's what we're working toward. Um, let's grab this. Um, I'm a little bummed that this didn't give us another cool death, or another revive. Because we need it right now. Doesn't matter if I die with the souls, cause we have no more revives. I think that's something that we should invest into is more revives in the skill tree. That's gonna be our next uh, our next thing. Also, mastery wise, we might get more um, more from the masteries maybe. I don't know. We didn't we didn't look at the masteries. We'll have to take a look after this. Uh go damage. Okay. Lots of health potions down here. There's a lot up top too. Let's 
make our way down to the skill point tree or shrine. Ooh, that that's huge. It's actually huge. We only got 27 gold. A little disappointing. Definitely need a lot more. I'm not going to make it up to those potions. Well, I might make it up to those potions. We'll see. I'll take critical. Bumps us up to 50%. That's actually kind of huge. I'm going to take these potions over that chest. I think I can get more out of these potions than I can the chest. <laughs> okay. Especially with it just being a, just a regular chest. be okay. We're gonna see though. No! We weren't even able to max everything. It kind of blows. Uh, I'll grab you. I'm gonna roll. More damage would be nice. Uh, I'll take all that. I feel like we're pretty stacked. I think we should be able to beat him. I hope. We have one heart. One heart and a freaking dream. And I can't see a damn thing. Holy flippin' A, man. I have no idea where this guy even is. I'm just trying to win right now. There he is. Holy crap, we did it! We freaking did it! I did not think we were gonna make it. Conquer any realm zero times with Un to unlock this skin. Heck yeah, dude. Tornado Staff, Tornado Bonus Ascension. Use the Ghostly Fire Spectral Fire bonus ascension. Use the Phantom Claw Claw bonus ascension. Holy smokes, dude. That got my freaking anxiety through the roof running that. That was crazy. Like, I felt like I was holding my breath just trying to freaking, like, conquer it. Alright, what do we got? Adds a revive. Pass through enemies when you dead. Eh. I think another revive is huge. Um, bleed enemies always take a critical blow. Scared enemies always take a critical blow. When an enemy is burned, it has a 5% chance of creating a flame. When an enemy is frozen, there's a 5%... Dude, these two are huge. We're going to take this one because we're going to end up running uh, this uh, weapon next. But hopefully I'll end up enjoying that. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I greatly appreciate it as 95% of you are not subscribed. Uh, you guys can also ding the bell notification on to get notified when a new video goes live. But thank you guys all for watching. This has been Nordic Ashes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.